Hi, welcome to our demonstration of the Stage Prompter Assistant web application. We've designed and produced this web application specifically for our range of Stage Prompter products, and it allows you to create and edit your images ready for your Stage Prompter, and also allows you to click and drag them into the correct order for your next performance. So we're going to log in. I've already created an account and I'm just going to select the model of stage prompter that I use and click login. Now here we see the workings of the stage prompter assistant. It's always good to know that at the top right here you've got a full set of instructions as well as frequently asked questions and we would suggest that you have a look at these before you start to familiarise yourself with how the Stage Prompter Assistant works. But what we have in effect is an editing window here and a list where we will see all of our images or songs that we're going to perform. So let's go straight into it and we're going to create our first image or our first song. So we click New and let's call this um, Brown Sugar Um, by the Rolling Stones. So click Save and we can see we've created our first song and we've opened up our editing window to start putting our lyrics, um, whatever we want to put in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight onto the internet and look for the lyrics. This is probably one of the most common ways that people um, get the lyrics for songs if they're not writing them themselves. So let's have a look. Oops, spell it right. Brown sugar lyrics, there we go. And here we go. So we can just, I'll just grab some of them quickly and copy them. Okay. So all we do is we go back and we just paste the lyrics in. And as you can see, we've got our lyrics in here. So we might want to put a title in. So. And of course we can do things like make it bold, underline it, um, we can change the size of the font, um, so let's change that maybe to 22. Of course we can always change colour, so let's change that for example to green. Um, yep. Quite happy with that so let's just preview it so we click the preview button now this will show you exactly how it will appear on the stage prompter okay so we're happy with that so let's save that as our first image okay let's create our second image now I'm going to grab some lyrics from an existing Microsoft Word document and again this is quite a common occurrence that um, musicians already have their lyrics saved as Word documents and of course they want to bring them into the stage prompter. So um, we're going to uh, do an Oasis one uh, called Don't Look Back in Anger so I'll just put Don't Look Back for speed Okay, and we have um, a Word document, here we go. So again, we'll just copy and paste this. So copy, and let's put it into, and there we go, okay. 
So again, let's just do a little bit of formatting. We'll make the title um, a little bit bigger. So make it what we did before, put it in green. Now, as you can see, we've got some guitar chords here. Now I obviously like to have my guitar chords highlighted in a color. So just for ease, we'll put them in green here. And I always recommend that you put your guitar chords at the end of each line, and that way it takes up a lot less space. Now we've got some titles here, pre-chorus, so again, let's give that some color. And we'll just finish this off quickly. As you can see, it's very easy to make everything look exactly as you want, ready for your performance. And of course you could change anything at any time. Okay, so I won't bother doing the rest, but that basically is how we do it. So we'll preview. Okay, now as you can see, we've come off the bottom of the page here. And this is because this particular song is quite long. Now, you can do different things. You can shorten songs by not repeating choruses, etc. Or what you could do is you could create a second image for this song. So, we have a look and see where this finishes. So it finishes at the end of the first chorus. So I'm going to close this. There's your chorus. So I'll just take this and cut it out. Preview it again. There we go, we're happy with that. So save it. Now we're going to create a second image. So don't look back to. And we'll just paste the rest of that in there. We can do some green for the chords again, the same as before, etc., etc., etc. So again, preview. There we go. We're happy with that. So save image. So we now have two images for one song because it's quite a long song. You generally will only need to do this, say, for a couple of times, two or three times for every 30 songs. You will find that most songs you can get to fit on one screen. OK, so we've now got two songs. I'll just do one more. Now we'll do a Queen one. Bohemian Rhapsody, difficult one to spell. Now, I'm doing this one because if you're a keyboard player or you're um, the type of musician that requires music notation, you can bring in scanned um, music documents uh, as JPEGs. So I'll go here, choose a file, and this is one I've already scanned in. And I would recommend that the size needs to be uh, approximately 20 by 28 centimetres. OK, so there's our scanned piece of music. Let's preview it. Yep, it fits on the screen. We're happy with that. So we've now got our three songs. OK, so... We can obviously continue and carry on and create as many songs as we need. But now we've done that, I'm going to save this um, as an image list so that in the future I can come back, I can add to it, I can edit it. And I would always recommend that you save your image list regularly because obviously if anything goes wrong or you want to change anything, if you've got um, various backups or various saved image, li image lists, you can go back to them and um, um, 
recover any information that you want. So save image list to PC or Mac. And what this will do, um, it's giving me a warning because I haven't saved this one. So let's cancel, save that image. Okay, so save image list. And I'm going to just save it. And what this will do is it will save it in my default downloads folder on my computer. So you need to know where your default download folder is. So we can now log out. Now when we log out, there we go, and we log back in again, you will see that we're clear here. It's all gone. So we now need to load it back in again. So go to our default downloads folder, and there it is at the top called master image backup with the date on it. And there we go, we're back up and running again with our image list. So we now want to do our first performance, our first gig, and we want to put these songs into a particular order. And the easy way to do that is we just click and drag them. And as you can see, I'm moving Brown Sugar down to the end. And I'm going to put Bohemian Rhapsody up at the start. And leaving the two images for Don't Look Back in Anger in the middle. Okay, we're happy with that. So we're now going to output them as JPEG images ready to copy onto our USB memory stick so that we can put that in our stage prompter. So we click output. Now we can either output them in set order as we've just done here or alphabetical order. Now alphabetical order is very good for rehearsals because if you want to skip to a particular song quickly if it's in alphabetical order you can use the remote control and move quickly and easily to the right song uh, and bring it up ready to perform. But we're going to do set order. Now we can have the stage prompter in two orientations, either standing upright or laying on its side. Or if we're using the RSM003, the floor box, we choose this one. But for the moment I'm going to just choose the standard orientation for our wedge monitor. And what this does is it turns all of these into JPEGs and puts them in the right order. So I'm going to click Save. And it will save it into my default downloads. So here it is. I'll open them up. And you can see that it's saved them in the right order. So it's done the Bohemian Rhapsody first, then Don't Look Back in Anger, and then Brown Sugar. So I could open one of these up and have a look. And there we go. And it's in this particular orientation because that's how it will appear uh, on the screen when the screen is vertical. So we're happy with that. That is the Stage Prompter Assistant in a very basic format. Um, we hope you enjoy using it. It's a very, very easy to use tool once you've um, played with it a couple of times. Don't forget up the top here the instructions and frequently asked questions. Very important if you uh, forget how to use it, if you haven't used it for a while and you want to refresh your, refresh your memory. Uh, thanks very much for watching.